Now, President Balantinambu, government at all levels, and service chiefs have now been asked to strengthen the security formations of the country to address lingering challenges confronting the nation. The calls made at the graduation ceremony of the new Convenient Theology College in Zaria, Kaduna State, Northwest Nigeria. Speaking, Dr. Victor Daly said the security has done a lot of damage on the citizens, noting that many communities and farmers have left their homes due to fear of the unknown. The President, His Excellency, uh, Asiwajibola Tinubu, but let him do the best he can. Let him unite his leaders. And of insecurity has caused a lot of damage to this country. Let us come together and fight this thing headlong. These people who are kidnapping and killing people are not faceless. I believe if our security agencies are supported, we can soon bring this thing to the past. I am praying that one day we can sleep with our eyes closed in this country and we can move from one end of this country to another without being afraid. My prayer for Nigeria is that God will help us to bounce back. No trouble, no difficulty that we cannot solve ourselves. This is my prayer. I want them to know that there is a God and one day all of us will go back and give account of what we have done. So let them have the fear of God and pray to him and God will leave them. Now, we lamented the high economic hardship Nigerians are passing through while they're calling on the uh, federal government to focus on people centered policy that would cushion the effect of the economic challenges. I feel happy and I give God the glory for this honor conferred on me today as a doctor of divinity by the new Covenant College from Kentucky, USA. We should be doctors for Jesus Christ, and this has for us to continue to do his work that he has sent us to do on this earth. But as human beings and Nigerians, the best thing we can do, one, is unity. When we are united, we can fight poverty to the ground level. But if we continue to do the divide and rule, definitely poverty will not allow us to survive. So I want to call on all Nigerians, let us look on to God, let us be prayerful, let us not just continue cursing our leaders. Let us pray for them that God will touch their heart so that the economy of this country can pick up again. God has blessed this country with virtually everything. We need just to harness what we have, pray together, be united, and Nigeria will bounce back. This is my call to Nigerians. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.